Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. It is Tuesday, so I've got a Tech Tuesday video for you guys, one that I think you're gonna enjoy because you guys have asked for it. Several of you guys have asked for behind the scenes information, <clears throat> how these airplanes are run, how the companies operate, and what keeps them going. So I've arranged to come down to Miami, meet with one of the founders of Avinode to show us a little bit about how these airplanes are operated, a little bit about his company, and how he plays a part in that. So this is Pear. Uh, he's been doing this for a long time. He's, when did you start this company? 2001. 2000, wow, man, he's been doing this since before I started flying airplanes. So he knows a lot about this stuff. So anyway, this is Pear. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you started Avinode. Yeah, so, so Avinode is probably the best kept secret in the short industry, at least for the general public and those people not working in the day to day. Uh, I think we're the closest thing to Sabre or Amadeus, in other words, a back end reservation system. Right. And we started the company back in 2001 to make it as easy to book a private jet as an airline ticket. And, and realize we started a company six months after the dot com bubble busted, That's right. three weeks before 9 11. So bringing wow. an internet idea in aviation, it's not something that, that, that uh, you got any funding yeah, for. Yeah, you, you had it, bad timing on that, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I would actually say perfect timing. If we'd shown up five years earlier or three years earlier, they would have given us $20 million and we would have burned it through faster than, than, That's than true. You, you, you change an industry. That's true. So, so, but during the last 19 years, we've been working hard on this problem to really make it as easy to book a private jet as a commercial airline ticket. We're not there yet. Uh, right. We built the, the, the company first on the vision of the very light jets, the Eclipse and Sapphire, if you remember them. I do, yeah. The very light jet segment really, really ne never took off. So, right. so we got in the car, drove around, listened to operators, and, and Avenue became uh, what it is today because we work very close with operators and brokers across the world. Yeah, well, as, as someone in the aviation industry, your, your Avinode comes up nonstop. You know, every operator that I've ever talked to, you know, they, they all know Avinode, they all use Avinode. You know, it's like you said, it's probably the best kept secret. So uh, I've read a little bit about this, this concept of takeoff ready. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, but tell us what takeoff ready is. So the so challenge we, we, we face in the industry is just about being able to provide a guaranteed product. Okay in terms of you want to book a private jet instantly and be able to go the next day or even the same day. Okay. On, a day on a monthly average, we have about 600,000 shorter requests being sent through the system worldwide. Wow. So that's pretty huge numbers. 30% yeah. of that is for travel in the next 72 hours. People talk about Uber for private jets and say, how do we make it more available? Okay. Uber, when you book that, is, is pretty straightforward, right? You request a uh, Lux SUV. Right. You don't know what model shows up. With private jets, you're asked to be able to customize that experience. So imagine in Uber if you could book a BMW X5 black with gray interior, Voss sparkling water, and they uh, should have peppermint Tic Tacs. That's sort of what the client expects when they get on a it private is. jet, that fully customized available. It is. And the problem we face in the industry is you don't know when an aircraft is really available. Right. Is it out of maintenance? Does it have pilots? So we looked at, at other industries which is trying to confirm and guarantee something. We all use Amazon, right? Right. Amazon Prime is the first filter I will sh uh, turn on when I've done a search, because you know what that means. It's really available, it's going to get in two days, and you're not going to hit with $65 shipping fee. So Takeoff Ready is geared to flights departing in the next 72 hours. 30% of these 600,000 requests every day, a month are sent for trips in the next 72 hours. So we allow operators to go in and say, my aircraft is really available, I have crew available, and that way we can promote it to brokers and operators needing that aircraft for that pop-up trip, and, 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 and you stand out. Just like Amazon Prime drives direction uh, towards those line items versus everything else. Makes sense, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and do an aircraft search. You can search for a one-way, a round trip, or a multi-leg. If you've been doing searches during the day, you can click on recent trips to just select that search from a previously. You can search, uh, let's say, from Opalaka to Teterboro. You can put the departure or arrival date, the time, local, or UTC, the number of passengers, and then the minimum category. So I'm going to select a light jet. Then we click search, and the search results will pop up momentarily. And as you can see, uh, here's the list of the search results. On the left-hand side, we have a lot of filters available for you, so you can refine your search. Um, Takeoff Ready here allows you to search for ASAP trips, so if you want to filter out aircraft that are uh, charter ready in the next 96 hours with crew ready to go, you can use these filters here. 
You can also filter by year of make. So if you're not interested in aircraft that say are older than 1977, you can even save it as default. So you don't have to move this every time. You can filter by aircraft categories, types, sellers, if you're looking to filter particular sellers. And there's a lot of more options here available for you so you can refine your results. So, uh, and the other one that I've used a little bit as well is Scudero. And this is you guys' scheduling software, is that right? Yeah, so if we are a marketplace where brokers and operators come and, 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 and uh, find the best matches for any given mission, uh, Scudero is, is a scheduling software used by operators. Okay. So, so in order to run their back end, everything from pilot schedules, uh, aircraft schedules, uh, all the trip logistics and everything else that you need. Because I don't think people realize how much work is done on the back end in order to get these flights to take off on time and deliver the service. And all of that needs to be nowadays computerized in order to get that efficiency. But there's a lot of, of stuff happening. It absolutely is, yeah. I, I see that more and more with my current role with you know, making sure the maintenance items are, are, are up to date and make sure the airplane is airworthy. So yeah, I guess Scudero kind of covers all that stuff for us. Then. So, so we're continually investing in that product to build it out more and more. When we started uh, back in 2001, one of our challenges was people were having their schedules on a whiteboard in their office. And if you want to be a computerized booking system, there's no way you're going to be interfacing with a, with, with a whiteboard. So uh, we have gradually invested or aggressively invested in Scadero in order to build it out to be a full-fledged uh, uh, operation software. Uh, also, as, as consumers of, of apps and, and technology in our day-to-day, -day, we get spoiled. Yeah. We don't want to do necessary, unnecessary double entry. I mean, if you get a trip sheet, you don't want to have to check off the passenger on paper to then go on your laptop to be able to send it back. Or when you get a change in your, your trip itinerary, you would like to be notified uh, and then acknowledge it, and then the back, uh, back end dispatch team knows as soon as you have read it. So, so building out apps and providing pilots with efficient work tools is also key. Right. Uh, technology allows it nowadays, and, and, and with the new Skidero app, you're possible to, just, uh, to get your trip itinerary, your logistics, your passenger manifests. Uh, you will be able to do duty and, uh, and flight logging, uh, even if you don't have internet. So in order to make wow. their life easier to pilot. So it saves it in, in, on the device without internet, and then yeah. it'll, it'll sync once you do get an yeah. internet connection. That's impressive. So, so overall, what we try as Avenue Group as a whole is to make sure that our operators are able to, and brokers to run efficiently so that they don't spend time manually, but instead focusing on the time with the clients. Because, I mean, the customer experience that you expect of a private jet is done in the face-to-face -face interaction. And, and the only way to have time for that is to, to maximize the efficiencies on the back end and, and the computer assistance for it. I like the way you put that. That's very true. We are in a huge customer service environment. And it's something that our company has been pushing here, especially the past six months or so, is pushing that customer service aspect. So giving us the time to get that face-to-face -face time with the customer, it's all key to, to minimize you know, the time we spend writing stuff down. So. And also, if, if there are notes on a specific customer, imagine just before you walk into that FBO, you can quickly see what's the preferences of Mr. or Mrs. so-and-so, so when you welcome them, or even see a picture of the customer. Even because better. I know that the trouble you sometimes have in the FBO, you're coming in, you've never <laughs> flown that passenger again, you see 30 people in there, how are you going to identify who's who? Who's who? Who, who, do, who do I take to New York today, you know, when 18 people put their hands up, you know, yeah. everybody's going to New York. And, and likewise for the client, imagine if they yeah. could see your face before, so that they know that they are getting on with the right pilot. Right. Just to break down those barriers. So, so those are things that we are working on, on how to have technology enhance the whole customer experience. That's excellent. I love it. Well, I tell you what, when I first walked into your office, the first thing I noticed was just the culture in here. I, I love your office layout. We were talking about that a few minutes ago, and, and I'm excited to see you around the place. So, uh, so yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, no, definitely. And, 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 and uh, happy to show it is. I haven't for 19 years had my own office. I will never have my own office. Wow. Because, again, it comes to, I mean, we are one team that, that builds this company, and, and uh, the interaction goes on in the day to day and face to face is so important. Yeah, so let's have a look. I love it. Excellent. Let's go have a look.
All right, so that's Avinode. Really cool company, great office, and I, I tell you what, a couple of the best things that I found about this office are these chairs are awesome. I think I'm gonna steal one and take it home with me. <laughs> and the first thing they did was give me a Coke when I walked in the door, ice cold. This is Itziar. She works here at Avinode, obviously. She's been showing me around, so thank you so much for having yeah. me. I know the viewers are gonna love it. This has been phenomenal. Great company, great culture. I really enjoy being here, so you guys may see me more often. So. We hope the viewers like it. Please come back. <laughs> we certainly will. Thank you so much. If you guys want some more information about the company, avinode.com is a place to go. It's in the description below. Definitely check them out. Great company for any of your scheduling and uh, aviation charter needs.